After careful consideration over the last few weeks, I've decided to put my name forward as the Mayor of Greater Manchester to stand in the local elections. Um, this is a message for all my friends, my network contacts in Britain, around the world. Anyone who might be willing to spread the word, anyone who might be willing to help and support, because I can't do this alone. Now, some of you may know that for the last few years, I've concentrated most of my effort on the design and build of a high performance luxury supercar. The purpose of that supercar project has been to raise the funding necessary to create completely clean air engine technology, clean air motor vehicle technology, and a revolution in car design, a revolution in engine and machine technology for the UK. Something that we can use to create a clean air environment in our cities, and something that we can use to export around the world to earn our keep in the world. Unfortunately, I've been troubled over the last year or two by the trends in politics intent it seems on smashing the car industry and certainly smashing the internal combustion engine and accusing the internal combustion engine of being a radical source of evil in the world even though it can be made 100% carbon neutral that's not stopping them from bringing an end to the internal combustion engine in the next few years and the end to thousands if not tens of thousands of jobs in engineering and manufacturing and all of the export opportunities in this country. The latest fad amongst local politicians has been the creation of clean air zones. This is beginning to spread out from London to once again impose more tax and more regulation on our cities to punish us for buying diesel cars years ago when the government told us to go out and buy diesel cars. Even though the engine technology can easily be made clean and efficient, their emphasis is on investing more time and effort on laws and taxes and less on investing in new science, new engineering and new opportunity for exports and new opportunity for engineering and manufacturing. That's why I have to speak, speak on behalf of my work and speak on behalf of the work of other engineers and designers and revolutionaries in this country. And that brings me to Manchester. Manchester prides itself on being the home of the Industrial Revolution, so it's therefore an opportunity to create a new Industrial Revolution, a revolution in scientific and economic innovation. It has the resources, it has a fantastic population of engineers, designers, workers, people ready and willing to work if only they're allowed to do so. A vast reservoir of um, educational academies, universities, colleges and much more to bring forth a skilled workforce and plenty of money floating around if you can dig it out from here, there and everywhere. But there's no coherent vision of an overall picture of how all of this could be brought together to create a real industrial revolution and not just another mission statement like your build Britain better. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty. I have a vision for the future of Manchester, for the future of Greater Manchester, the Northern of Britain. This is just one small sample of my interests and I have many more. But I can't do this alone. I can't put it into action without votes and I can't win the votes without support and I need a team. I need an army of supporters. I need donations, funding. I need influencers who can help spread the word and so much more. And this is why I'm making this appeal today and telling all of you my intentions to stand for a future prosperity within Greater Manchester, within the North and within Britain as a whole we can be the birthplace of a real industrial revolution if we want to and we can challenge the trends in the political elite who want to trash the car industry and trash other industries and actually create new revolutionary industries that can do so much better create a cleaner healthier and more prosperous world i am happy to work with the other political elites with the, the political establishments in the local towns around greater manchester but I propose to bring my vision as a, um, an overarching view, a strategic view for the whole community. And I don't see such a strategic view in uh, the minds of any of the other candidates or their parties. They don't seem to have a big picture, a real tangible, practical strategy for how we might create a greater opportunity and a greater prosperity. And we do have the opportunity to do that. We have the, like the post-Brexit world, we have the post-Covid world to come 
and this is not an opportunity to just sit back and slump exhausted it's an opportunity to get up and look for a better brighter future and that's what i believe i can offer this vision is just one small sample of my work and i have much other to offer but i need the support so if you with your networks your friends your associates are willing to step forward and help me please do so i'll be creating a website there'll be much more information there but just to give you a basic example we need to do fundraising i need at least 100 signatories of registered voters within greater manchester so if you're in manchester greater manchester if you're within the area or know anyone in the area who wants to step forward who maybe is a bit ticked off with the current establishment or who wants a better view of a better future and is willing to step forward and help me as a registered voter to sign up that would be great there's so much more i could say um i'm trying to keep this video relatively short rather than bore you to death i hope you will step forward and help me or spread the word to those you think could and please come do so come help me let's become mayor let's change the world the name's bond <laughs>